Good morning. How is everybody today? I hope it is about to be a wonderful day for you. We are here going to do a little project. And it's going to end up being some holiday cards. But first we're going to start with a little bit of painting. So I'm not going to film too much of the painting process because there's project to happen at, after the painting. So, but let's pick some more traditional type holiday colors, I guess. Oh, we need some water on here. Let's wet this baby down. Get the spray out. There we go. Let's get some color down. All right, here's where we're at so far. I put the metallic watercolors away. I forgot. I don't, I like, I always want to use them because of the metallics, but I don't like at least that set. It is a super, I think it's from, it's a Dollar Tree set. And the coverage just isn't what I want. I like a lot more coverage. So I got out my Kiritakis, threw this color down, and now I'm going to add this uh, Phenotech. on top. I don't know how to say that. Moiré colors. Finitech Moiré colors. It's M-O-600. It's from, it's a German company. So I went those down and you can see they're the interference kind of colors. They're not solid. They'll just add the shimmer on top. So we're going to add this on top of these colors. So that way we can still have that beautiful shimmer. And I'm gonna use all of the colors. All right, we're gonna let this dry. All right, this is dry. I'm trying to move it around here to see if you guys can see all the different shades of shimmer that we have going on. So this is our background. And now I'm going to use a stencil and some mica sprays to get a pattern on here. this way so that fold is isn't interfering too much All right. I want this to be as flat as we can get it we're going to use iron gate like a kind of silvery color burning ember decayed oh that needs a little more shaking. And then Wicked Elixir. All right. Make sure to wipe them off right away. I'm always really careful, but for some reason, all of a sudden, I'm having issues with every single spray I pick up for the last couple of weeks has been clogged for some reason. And I'm like, crap, because I've been really careful to take good care of my sprays, but Shoot, I just moved that.
All right, did we get all the spots? I think we did. Move this out of the way real quick so that we can see if we can get any residue off of here. Not a lot, but, you know, built up with some other times, it's going to end up being really beautiful. So we'll set all of these aside to dry up. Here is what this one looks like now. We'll come back when it's dry. But I think that looks pretty cool. See y'all in a bit. All right, we are nice and dry. This is our final outcome. And next we are going to, I'm sorry, I am such a mess with ink and glue. It is not even 9 a.m. yet, about quarter till nine in the morning. And I've already completed three projects this morning and this one is actually my fourth project for the day. So I'm just having a ton of fun creating over here today, but I am a mess, so forgive me. Um, these videos are probably going to need to be spread out, so this video might not actually go up right away. It might be a couple weeks before this video gets posted, just because I've made several this morning. So next we are going to use our different size hole punches and start cutting a bunch of hole punches. I mean circle punches and start cutting a bunch of circles out. I have a two inch, a one and a half inch, and I'm going to assume this is a one inch even though it's not marked. So those are the three circle punches I have, and we're going to cut a bunch of these out. I really don't like these things. I take them off most of the time. All right. Now, I tried to pick the thinnest watercolor paper I had, which actually this is a cotton watercolor paper, and I prefer to save my cotton for more special like actual paintings that I plan on saving, not cutting up just because it's exp more expensive. But this was my thinnest one because I learned the other day, oh, I can't remember what project I was working on, but I had used a different watercolor paper that was thicker and my plan was to hole punch it and I, I couldn't, uh, paper punch it and I couldn't, it wouldn't cut through. So... I try to pick, I picked my thinnest one and I'm hopeful that it will cut. Yes. So let's cut a few of these ones. All right, we've got all of our little circles cut out. Aren't they fun and pretty? So now we're gonna make some holiday cards. These are going to be our little ornaments. So we can just... And I saw this, by the way, this is inspired by Debs uh, on Facebook. You know, Somebody I know on Facebook. She did this and it was just so cute. Alright, so my cards are definitely smaller than hers, so... We can just place them individually or put them together to make bigger ornaments. So like this one, we can place individually like this. Let's just go for it. What should I pick? Silver or gold? We'll go with gold for this card. 
And I just go around them. I, I edge everything in gold, I think, just about. All right, I've got them all edged in gold, and now I'm gluing them down. And now, just trying to get my pen and my glue here. Okay, friends, anybody have a couple stainless steel pins, but the eye pins with the loop at the top that you would be willing to share with me? Just two. I know Um, I have bought twice now, I've bought from Amazon stainless steel eye pins and... Um, I make a dangle for my glue and then it rusts so it's not stainless steel so I'm like I don't want to keep buying packs of these pins and they're all labeled wrong and so I was hoping maybe I know a lot of you make your own glue dangles so I thought maybe if one of you has a pack of eye pins that you know are stainless steel you'd be willing to share a couple with me of course I would pay for the postage pay for the pins as well to be honest I just really want some actual stainless steel pins that aren't going to rust on me <laughs> all right so now we are going to make these into little ornaments Sorry, I'm trying to, I can, I can make sure it's good once I done video. And I was just trying to make sure I got in that crease there, which I'll go back and fix that. This one is the angled one. My silver is just like a round tip, but this one's an angled one and it doesn't like to draw certain ways. You have to hold it a certain way or it gets picky. It's picky how you hold it. There we go. So now we've got our ornaments and then we can just stamp a sentiment down here at the bottom. How about tis the season? Get it inked up really good. I just got ink on the Here we go. There's our first card. Really simple, easy, but super cute card. And I'm so grateful for this case. For whatever reason, card making just doesn't come natural to me, uh, like a lot of other things <laughs> that I attempt. But um, I just thought this was super simple and something I could easily do. And it's super cute. So we can just make one more together. Let's see. What if we did one big one? This one has a little notch. I didn't get it right away, but it's perfect because it fits right there like that. All right.
get these glued down. Also, you wouldn't have to paint paper like this um, for this if you didn't want to. This is a perfect way to use up some scraps. I mean, with everybody doing a lot of Christmas crafting right now, I'm sure a lot of people have, you know, Christmas paper scraps that would be perfect for Christmas ornaments, which I don't really do Christmas crafting. Uh, Christmas just isn't my thing anymore. Ever since we lost Jay, so I just not that into Christmas anymore, but I know everybody, a lot of other people that I'm friends with are. So I thought this was a super cute project to make, to share for Christmas and to share with you guys in case you want to make some easy Christmas cards. I know some of you out there are like me and card making isn't your thing, but this is a super cute way you can use your Christmas paper scraps to make these. Just hole punch it and glue it down. And then let's do another this, we'll use the same stamp on this one. And there we go. Look how fast and easy that was. Obviously, it took time for making the paper because... Of letting the layers dry but again you don't have to do that if you had scraps already and you just quickly circle punched them out glued them down and placed a stamp you're good to go so here's our two cards that we've made Had enough circles to make five cards and I have to say I really enjoyed it although you know uh, Tony if you guys watch my holiday at my um, winter swap with Tony from Tony's Witchy Art and Crafts. I got so many amazing things from her and it's really got me feeling the holiday mood this year for the first time in quite a while. So this has been really fun. And thanks so much, Tony, for the inspiration. And thanks so much, Debs, for the inspiration for these particular cards. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you later, bye.